The Nock Mountains are green and wooded, with extensive alpine pastures that reach up into the summits. The tree line is higher here than in other alpine regions, which gives the illusion that the mountains are less dramatic than they actually are. Fields and pastures as far as the eye can reach. It's the perfect landscape for happy cows. South of the Touracher Höhe Pass is the mountain farm of Hans-Peter Huber and Nicole Bacher. With the milk from her cows, Nicole Bacher prepares a special delicacy. We live 1,630 meters above sea level, where family business and have about 32 milk cows and 50 young animals. We put the cows out to pasture all summer up on the mountain. The grass is particularly fresh there. They are even milked up there, and the milk is brought down here every day. With her partner and two children, Nicole spends a lot of time on the mountain above their farm. Here, the cows choose their own food. The spicy herbs in the area add to the flavor of their milk. Twice a day, the cows are rounded up for milking. Nicole and Hans-Peter are the highest milk farmers in Carinthia. Many things are still done the traditional way up here, apart from milking, which is no longer done by hand. The milk is immediately processed by Nicole into ice cream made of fresh ingredients. You put the milk in, then sugar, an emulsifier and cream. We figured out the recipe ourselves by trying out different things and then seeing what worked best. I think now it works really well. In the small dairy, Nicole produces her creations, Every month, there's a new variety of farmhouse ice cream. On our list of ice creams, we've got about a hundred different varieties. Cider ice cream or mulled cider ice cream. You can make ice cream out of anything. Her children usually stick to chocolate, strawberry or vanilla. With her farmhouse ice cream, Nicole has clearly discovered a niche in the market. They now produce around 600 litres of ice cream a week with their milk. across the chalk mountains of the south to warmer climes. On the foothills of the Alps, wine and fruit are grown. Traditionally, Schilcher wine is produced in the region from a grape that's been cultivated here since Roman times. But Michael Wiotz has stronger ambitions in St. Nikolai, he runs a whisky distillery. The idea to make whisky only developed gradually. I'm more from the fruit distilling end. My father had a weekend home in St. Nikolai and was a hobby winemaker for 40 years. 
but he never let me anywhere near the vines. It was only when I was grown up and started looking for my own hobby that I started distilling schnapps. The distillery is Michael Veut's passion. He qualified as a mechanical engineer and has an office where he works in the profession. On a business trip to Cairo, he first came into contact with the drink when he wanted to protect himself from infection. A hygienic measure turned into a lifelong passion. I have proper tasting rounds. At the moment, I've got around 200 barrels in the cellar, and every three months I log myself in there for half a day and taste every one and make notes. It's really learning by doing. I'm still developing, but can sense what makes a fine whiskey. Whiskey in different stages of maturity is tasted. A drop of water emphasizes the flavor. Michael Wiertz doesn't just enjoy experimenting with whiskey, but also invents new types of schnapps. There's hardly a fruit or vegetable that he hasn't tried out. I used everything from kiwis, nectarines, honey melons to organic tomatoes to make schnapps. I just enjoy experimenting. The modern distilling machines were constructed according to his own needs. The Scottish method of distilling is used. Barley germinates and is then dried. After that, it's ground and left to ferment. The whiskey consists of barley and water and a little yeast. Then the whole thing is distilled. To add a special flavour to his whiskey, Michael follows the Scottish example. He burns it over peat. Not far from the distillery, there's a peat bog. He goes there to cut the amounts of peat he needs to dry for fuel. The smoke from the burning peat, over which the malted barley is dried, gives the whiskey its distinctive taste. Es kommt ein rauchiger Geschmack. It makes the end product taste smoky, and that really sets it apart. The nice thing is that the peat comes from Styria and can't be compared with the Scottish product as it's from a different terrain. It's unique. The ground in Scotland is different, and that makes their whiskey taste different. That's what makes it so special, even for the Scots. Having been a distiller for a number of years, I've now got quite a good sense of which wood I should choose for my product. Storing the whiskey in wooden casks rounds off the taste. Certain types of wood add their own colour and taste to the whiskey. Others are more subtle, emphasising the whiskey's own flavour. <laughs> 